Hey, what's up everybody? This is Two Tail Caper. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of just one box set, today we have a grand total of six different box sets to look at. We're going to be comparing the Central Park Media release of Revolutionary Girl Utena to the newer and much better, in my opinion, release of Revolutionary Girl Utena by um, The Right Stuff and Nozomi Entertainment. Um, basically, Revolutionary Girl Utena is about this girl with the pink hair named Utena who goes to school and she has to fight duels for the um, so that she can get control of the Rose Bride, Anthe Himamiya, who you can see she's holding there. Um, I would try to explain the plot better, although I would not be able to do it justice. Um, as you can see, it's a very big series and lots of things happen in this show, um, some more heavy-handed than others. Um, but I will say this show does a good job of uh, balancing out the heavy-handedness of the plot and the uh, comical moments. But it's a very good shonen or shoujo. I keep getting those mixed up. I guess it's a shoujo story since it follows the two female characters. But there is plenty of action in there and the story is well fleshed out and everything like that. Um, so what we're going to do is I guess we're going to start with the uh, the oldest release here, the Central Park Media and the Software Sculptures release, move on to the newer ones, and then probably look at some bonus items as well. Um, so let's get right into this. So starting off with the Central Park Media collection, um, this is the Revolutionary Girl Utena The Rose collection. It's basically season one, um, which has been much better titled to be the uh, Student Council Saga with the new release, which is a much better, much more fitting title for this. Because um, I think The Rose collection, that title is just kind of, um, it's kind of uh, vague. You know, it's a, the Student Council Saga title is um, definitely gives you a better idea of what's going on. Um, so this basically contains all of Season 1 and the Utena movie, which wouldn't make sense to you if you only watched Season 1. You would have to watch the whole series first, which um, baffles me as to why they included that. Um, but let's get a front shot of this. So this does have the limited collector's edition version of the movie, which basically means it just has an extra disc inside with some uh, strange content that is actually very different from what I've seen before. Um, so it's got... So season one has episodes one to 13 of the series. Let's focus on this, please. <laughs> um, so in front, we have Utena, the movie version of Utena, actually. Um, you can see over here, we've got the TV version of Utena on the, from the movie. And we've got TV Utena again. Um, so this is the Rose Collection top, and it is by the director of Sailor Moon. I think he only did a few episodes. Um, so we've got on the top, it just says the Rose Collection again. Um, we've got a character named Toga. I believe this is the TV version of him. And it's got also some Japanese writing on here. Here's the spines for all the DVDs. Um, the, this one is actually um, a lot different from some of the other releases because usually they would have a DVD release in volumes. This only, there'd be at least like four or five volumes. This one only has two volumes because they have the first half of season one and the second half of season one together in these two rose collections. And then the Utena movie, which is very pink. Um, so in the back, we've got TV Anthe, and it basically tells you all the, the stuff that comes in it. Um, it's got a little synopsis for the series. Uh, the, the episodes, the uh, collection one has episodes 1 to 7, and 2 has 8 to 13 in the movie, and it's got all the movie special features listed there. Um, let's see what we have for audio. We've got English and Japanese Dolby Digital Stereo, and the English dub for Utena, I have to say, is really, really bad. Um, I know that uh, Nozomi is going to be putting it out again on Blu-ray very soon, and I'm excited for that. I'll definitely be picking that up. Um, I'm hoping that they're going to maybe redub it, but if they don't, um, then it'll be a bit of a shame because the English dub... I mean, it's got good actors. It's got some of the Pokemon actors like Rachel Lillis um, as Utena, and I just really think that she misses the mark. And the voice actress for Anthe is always sounding cynical when she's not supposed to be. It's just a big, huge mess, but um, that's another story for another time. Let's basically get into this. My hand's still shaking up a bit here. Another quick thing before we get to disc one, the inside of the case is actually purple. Um, it, you can, it's very hard to see here, maybe if I get more into the light, but it is all purple inside and it adds just a nice little bit of depth to the case. Um, but let's kick things off with disc one. So this is the Rose Collection one. Um, it's very kind of bland looking. My hand's shaking up, jeez. Um, so it's got the seven episodes and web connects, which basically you could connect to the uh, internet when this first released. I think back in the early 2000s, you could get some special Utena goodies like wallpapers and things like that. Um, but it was kind of unnecessary. And I really don't like this um, this uh, title 
uh, logo, I guess. And there's nothing really wrong with it. It's just that um, everything else, like it, it's always got this French fanciness going on today. And this looks too blunt for the show. But anyway, here's the front. Uh, it's dual language, English and Japanese, of course. Let me go to the back. And again, the packaging for this set is just kind of weak. It looks almost like a scrapbook with this very bl uh, bright blue color. Um, some quotes on there. Um, the show itself is very good. It's just a shame to see it packaged in set this way. It's got some nice features on it. Um, it's got some songs that you can listen to, like the dual songs as they go on. Uh, sneak peeks. And of course, the... Um, you know, the Japanese and English titles, which I'm not sure if it's like a special feature. Well, let's get this opened up. So inside, everything, um, one thing I noticed that with um, Central Park Media stuff is they always have some, uh, all the important information in the back of the case, which is very nice to have. Um, so it's got a little chapter stops for each episode, for the episodes. Um, the cast for both English and Japanese um, and Crispin Freeman is also in this as Toga, and I think he does a good job. He's really the only one that I can think that really, you know, that sounds good. I mean, the voice is, like, Rachel Lillis's voice sounds good. It's just not for, it just doesn't sound great for Utena. Um, the disc is uh, high contrast, black and white with pink. Um, it's actually, for DVD, it's an all-region DVD. So, you know, if you live outside the United States and want to get an Uten on DVD, and you, you can get this one. And it'll have the English subtitles and the Japanese voice acting. Um, I think Rose Collection 2 is also all-region. Yeah, all-region. But it said Region 1 in the back because this movie is locked to Region 1. So, this, so you'll have to find the movie some other way. But So, on the back here, we have Utena in black and white against flowers and they really do it re it's really nice to see that in the back of the case you know just some uh, nice packaging but then they go and muffle that up with their all their phone numbers and all that stuff it's it's a kind of it's kind of funny i guess but we'll put that back and get into disc two so this is the rose collection two i think the the artwork on this front of this one looks much better than the first one uh dvd rom six episodes on this english and japanese and the back of this one also looks a lot better. It still kind of has this um, scrapbooky feel to it with this ugly maroon circle, oval rather. Um, but overall, it's much better. And I just cannot stay, stop shaking. I do apologize for that. Um, and some of the episodes, like the Karate High Trip, is one of the funniest episodes in this series. It's hilarious. Um, let's get this one opened up. So it's got all the chapter stops, the cast, um, which is much better laid out than the first uh, disc as well. Um, another high contrast with uh, Utena in the um, in the pink color. And behind this one, we have Utena and Anthi. This is from the episode where they attend a ball. Um, and it's very fancy. Also, no phone numbers on the side, which is a nice um, addition because you just get to see the nice artwork behind the disc, if only it wasn't for that uh, security label, but I can live with it. So let's get into the movie. Now for this series, I have actually have all the Region 1 DVDs for uh, Revolution or Girl Utena in my possession, except for one, but this makes it obsolete because the only one I don't have is the non-collector's edition version of the Utena movie. And it basically is just the same content for the movie because that's all in disc one. Um, the special thing about this collector's edition is that disc two has a bunch of uh, anime trailers on it. Um, so th it's got some for uh, Shamanic Princess shown on the right side, which is actually also very good. Um, and I'm not sure where he's from, but there's a whole bunch of features on here. So if you want to get this, you know, it might introduce you to some other good shows. Um, but let's get a better shot of this. So this one is very, very pink. It's got dark pink, light pink, really black pink, and then the case is pink. Everything about this is pink. Oh, I got a phone call. Sorry about that, but we're back. Um, so like I was saying, this case is super de duper pink. Um... So we've got some screenshots. Also, it keeps with that almost scrapbooky type feel that the first discs had. Um, I don't know. I just don't like it. That's why I probably like the Nozomi Entertainment release more as well. I can't get it to focus. But there we go. We actually do have some nice pictures from this movie. And this movie has some really beautiful animation. 
Um, so it's got the synopsis, special features that it has. And it's got a bunch of special features, um, which is nice. And then, of course, the DVD ROM features. Probably something that you don't need, like the script for the director's commentary, the script for the movie, I think that's what that is, um, an art gallery and stuff like that. But let's get it opened up again. And like I said before, this one's for region one, but the other ones were for all regions, which really doesn't make any sense. They must have uh, licensing restrictions or something like that. Anyway, um, here's the disc for the movie. Um, this one, actually, the logo is even worse. This one all makes it look like it's a huge blockbuster, which, I mean, it has a production quality of a blockbuster movie, but it just really doesn't fit in with the theme for Utena. Um, I'm pretty sure behind this is a black and white thing. I don't think it's pink, but I'll pull that out later so we can see. Um, so it's got all the scenes for the movie, the cast again, which is a nice addition. And let's see what's on the other side. Actually, you already saw this uh, Anime Zone disc, so I'll just pull up the alternate art for this. Here's the alternate art. It is actually in black and white. Um, so this side has Utsuna and Anthe from the movie. And with the phone numbers and everything again. So these phone numbers, I guess, are out of service now, but... You know, if you want to try calling them, you might get some, then I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually do that. Um, so that's pretty much the Rose Collection set. I'm going to put this back and we'll get into uh, set two, which is the Black Rose Saga. So here's the uh, Central Park Media release of the Black Rose Saga. Um, this one is actually super cool because Anthe and uh, Anthe are, geez, Uta and I and Anthe rather are embossed on this. So they're kind of 3D. Um, it's got some texture to it and it reflects the light. It's really cool. Um, it's got some, these are basically screenshots from each of the DVD release, um, covers. And this one has, they've done the normal route with this. So they've actually got the four different volumes in this. And the packaging on these is much better, as I remember. Um, the back, it's got the synopses for season two. Um, we've got Jury and, oh, why can't I remember her name? I'll probably remember so sooner or later, but... Um, she's voiced by, uh, damn it, what is her name? She did, uh, Lena Inverse in Slayers, too. I can't remember what her name is. I'll have to find out one minute. Okay, I'm back. I can't believe I forgot that. So that is, um, a character named Shiori, and she's voiced by Lisa Ortiz, which is one of my favorite voice actors. Um, just the amount of effort she puts into every role, it's just so great. And she is actually good as Shiori here. I just wish that the rest of the cast fit the characters better. Um, so we've got... The features for the DVD, English and Japanese digital stereo audio. Um, it's rated 13 and up, which is kind of... if You're probably too young to be watching this one uh, when you're 13, because this, this show has some fucked up shit that happens in seat part 3. Um, you know, this, this, I, this, see, this one is packaged much better. It has less of that scrapbooky type feel to it. It feels a lot more refined. Um, and the... You know, it just looks classy, like this shot here with the Japanese writing and the, everything. It's just very well done. Um, so let's get into disc one and see what we've got. Also, I should say for part two, the inside of this case is red, like rose, and it's really nice to see just this level of detail that they didn't need to include, but they did, and it just makes it all the, much better. Um, but enough going on about that. Let's get into disc one. So this... Um, this volume is called The Black Rose Blooms. Uh, it's got Utena and Anthe on the front, just like from the uh, slipcover, same picture here, except there's no screenshots from the other DVDs, which is a good thing. Uh, English dub and Japanese for English subtitles. Um, this one just feels a lot more classy. It doesn't have that scrapbooky type feel for me. Um, so this one only has four episodes on it, which is fine because there's more DVDs than just the two last time. And that probably means the uh, video quality is better than before, but the video quality on these is really, it's just terrible. Um, it's really grainy, really dull. The, the colors are really washed out all the time. It's just a mess. And these are also, from here on out, from the movie, here on out, they're all locked to region one. Um... So if you're living somewhere else and you're looking to get this and you know you need an, a regional player, I would say don't even bother with these. Just get the new releases since those are locked to Region 1 still anyway and they just look so much better. Um, but it's got some good uh, features on it. So let's get the disc open. I can't get this one open for some reason. There we go. So again, they have the black and white behind the case. It just makes this release 
it just all this effort that they didn't need to include and they did it just makes it feel nice um so we got Utena and Anthe we got Anthe again all their information and then the disc um this artwork is very nicely cropped to fit the disc to fit on there well um nope my phone's telling me I have low battery that's not good Utena there, the cast again, also there's more characters introduced in season 2, so the cast is bigger. Um, here's all of the characters here. You probably can't see it, but I'm not going to bother to pull this out because it's really just black and white and it'd be hard to see anyway. And you can find all this information on Wikipedia anyway. So put this back in here and we'll get to season 2. Disc 2, geez, season 2. I guess this would be like season 2 of Utena, but it really is supposed to all be in one season, I think. Um, so this is the um, Utena, um Season 2, Volume 2, Impatience and Longing. It's got, um, I can't remember their names. Why can't I remember their names? I love the show so much. Um, I'll have to find out when I open up the case. But these are actually brother and sister, and that gives you some uh, insight into some of the fucked up shit that happens in Part 3. Mm, let's see. Lovers in the Air, blah, blah, blah. You can read all of that. Uh, 18 to 20, so this only has three episodes on it, which again is fine since there's only like, well, I don't know how many, This I think there's like 38 or 36 episodes in all, so they can split up between uh, box sets, which is fine with me. Um, here's some more of the characters, and um, get this opened up as well. So here's the artwork again, again black and white, it's very nice. Episode 20s, um, even the scenes have names in this, which is also a nice addition. So we got the nice little cropped artwork again. This one actually is a different type of case, which I don't really like these cases because I feel like I'm always going to snap the disc when I try and pull it. Let me see if I can find their names on this. I'm going to have to pull it out just a sec. Okay, so the boy on the right is Mickey. And his sister's name is Kozue. Um, and I think Kozue is also voiced? No, Roxanne Beck. I'm not sure who that is. She also voices Wakaba. And, um, I mean, she's really sweet. She's got some special features in here. She sings a song for Wakaba. And she liked that. She's a songwriter, so she dedicated one of the songs for Wakaba. I'm just, she's just not. I mean, she's a good voice actress and all. It's just that I don't think the direction, I don't think they had the right direction for these characters. Um, it just seems kind of off all the time, but you've got all the you've got a bunch of characters shown here in the back, um, and this is uh, volume two. Let's get into volume three. Okay, so here's volume three: uh, Darkness Beckoning with Jerry and Shiori on it. Um, here's the back. This one's got a gold type of color scheme to it, and on the back you can see all these characters. This is why I can't remember any of their names. I'm pretty sure this guy is named Mikage. Um, he's important in season two. Um, actually, season two is basically a big um, expansion of a side story in the manga. And I did read the manga. I really do think the anime is superior in this case. Um, it's just things have a lot more weight to them in the anime than they do in the manga. Um, here's the but here's the synopsis for volume three. Uh, features DVD ROM features blah blah blah. I really doubt that the DVD ROM features actually work, but I won't be trying them anytime soon anyway. Um, so let's get into the actual disc content. So we've got uh, Jerry and Shiori on the back here in black and white. And also nicely cropped. Actually, the text is on the upper left-hand corner of this side. It's it's just very nicely done for the packaging. I just wish the, um, the disc content, like the release, the video quality is so ugly. It's so bad. <laughs> it's, it's really just scary. I wonder if there's any artwork behind these two. So this is another one of the nice cases to actually push in the middle. Um, just some more character cutouts. It looks like Shiori and Jerry back there and some more grayed out characters. I actually think the grayed out characters stay consistent all the way through. Um, and they just uh, make them more prominent when they show up. But that might be just me going crazy. I don't know. Uh, put this back and we'll get to disc 4. So we've got the beginning of the end. Um, so this is Nanami. And her brother Toga. And um, yes, they are brother and sister. Yes, this is some fucked up shit. 
Um, I know. So it's once you see this stuff, it's hard to keep going once you see all this stuff. But I really do think that the story is good enough that it holds up. Because this is like, it feels like every character in this show is either like a lesbian or they're in an incestuous relationship. And it's just hilarious when you think about it. Um, but here's the synopsis. Here's the features. That's the DVD ROM features uh, and everything. Let's get into disc four. So we've got them in the gray background. And um, yeah, they're not consistent because there's Toka. No, actually, that's not Toga. That's somebody else. I can't remember his name. That's Toga up there behind the security strip. Uh, Nanami and Toga there. Nicely cropped in on the disc. And some more grayed out characters with the cast. And I'm not going to pull out because we've seen it a bunch of times already. Um, but uh, that's pretty much the it for season two. I'll get into season three. Okay, I'm back. I actually had to plug my phone. It's this one, Life Support. And apparently someone also tried to plug... Sorry, to, tried to log into my uh, Google account from Kazakhstan. That wasn't very nice. Um, but anyway, all that aside, here's season three of uh, Revolutionary Girl Utena, um, the Apocalypse Saga. So this one's got Utena and Anthe on the front. They're wearing some kind of armor that they never ever wear in the series. Um, this one's got some kind of blue color scheme going on. The spines of the discs there. Um, the back. And this one's keeping in the um, packaging style of season two, which is much better than the first. So there's Jerry and that other character who comes in for like five episodes. I don't remember his name. He's not that important. Um, and here's the top. And this one has Sionji, who's one of the student council members, Toga and Utena together. Um, so yeah, let's get into season three. So actually, this one has something a little bit special about it. That wasn't cool. Actually, no, here's another thing. So this one actually has that um, unimportant character inside of the uh, case here. And it's got the blue design going on. Um, and apparently, in the Utena universe, there are three moons. Interesting. Um, this one also has something special in it that the other ones don't. This is an episode guide. Now, when I saw this in my box set, I was like, uh-oh. Is there an episode guide for seasons one and two that I didn't get? No, actually there isn't. This is an episode guide for every single episode um, in the series. And let's see. So there are actually 39 episodes in Uten. I was wrong about that. It's not 36 or 38. There are 39. Um, and obviously the 39th episode is the last one. And I won't zoom in. Um, but we'll take a look at this at the end further. Because we've got the other discs to go off of right now. So here's Jerry and the character again. Um, I'll probably, I'll see his name when I open up the case anyway. Um, <laughs> let's see, so there's, the, he is the new duelist who appears, um, and I don't want to spoil anything, so that's the only thing I'm going to say. Mm. So, right, I guess he was pretty important off-screen before Utena even got to the school. Um, so this one is actually different, they have the text overlaying the characters, which is a nice, um, you know, because we, we've already seen the artwork of her um, undoctored, pretty much. So, um, they can go over the text on the, the disc if they want to. This has another one of those scary cases to open. Um, but let's see if I can find out... Is Mitsuru, is that his name? Let's get the disc out of the way. Ugh. There we go. I don't want to snap the disc, because um, although these are outdated releases, they're still pretty expensive. Um, I was able to get all three for about $70 together, which is a good deal. Um, but I once on Amazon earlier today, I saw the first, the Rose Collection over there in purple. I saw that one uh, for $99 starting. So that's pretty scary. Um, it's not Akio, that's Auntie's brother. Mitsuru, yeah, that must be his name, Mitsuru. Um, so that so that's Mitsuru, everybody. <laughs> um but yeah, that's disc one. Let's get into disc two. So here is Utena season three, volume two, unveiling. Um, so it's got Akio and Utena on the front. Um, kind of creepy pose, but whatever. And there they are again. Um, make that four moons. Nanami discovers a terrible secret. Oh, don't read that if you don't want spoilers. Um, it's got some more screenshots. Uh, episodes 3 to 31 to 33, so this one's got four episodes, but again, I haven't really been uh, keeping track of which episodes are where. This one has some storyline, so it has like um, the stories up so far up to now, or something like that. Get this opened up. 
We've got Utena and Akio a bunch of times. And I'm not even, at this point, I'm going to stop taking the disc out even because it's based, it's got the scary type of case. And the, all that's under there is the cast uh, Yuko. I don't even know if she's an important character or not. Um, but uh, yeah. So, oh, sleep together. See, episode 32, uh, C9. Nope. That's kind of funny. Uh, disc 3. Uh, Revelation. So this has got the front, um, the front artwork on here. Uh, not much to say. This one's got a dark purple theme to it. Uh, there's the description, the features. Mm -hmm. This one, I, I like that it has interviews with the English cast. It, you know, it it lets you know that, like the actual voice actors are good. It's just again the direction was not good for the show. Um, the, and I think they, they missed the mark because they didn't have a good voice director there. But I'm going to stop saying that now. So in the back, another scary case, Utena and Anthe, some more times and uh, scenes and everything like that, blah, blah, blah. And disc four, the finale. So this is the last episodes on it. And it also has the uh, toga. Sionji and Utena on the front. This one's got a full-length commentary, I guess, for the last episode, which is nice that they included. Um, the description, screenshots, features. It's got a scrapbook with some of the characters in it. Again, kind of just worthless features that don't really need to be included, but they're there if you want to watch them. They're not so bad. Um, so that's oh, the one last thing we have is the episode guide. Um, now this is a nice little inclusion. It's got the artwork from the Black Rose Saga DVD on it. Um, this is like I decided to th throw the fight, but I ended up really fighting despite myself. Something happened during the match, and I gained the power of Dios. It's kind of hard to read blue, uh, red text against colors, but it's got a synopsis for every episode. I had moved the phone, but it's hooked up to a cord, so I have to move this as best I can with my other hand. So if you want to read this, if you don't want spoilers, don't read this. You can I'll probably put um to where you can skip for to in the video. Oh, sorry, that's going from episode four, episode five. Gosh, it's oh it's so unwieldy because it's so big. I might be able to move the phone a bit. Here we go. Six, seven. Eight, nine, and you can pause this if you want to read it. I'm just going to go quickly here. 10, 11, 12, where's 13? Oh, there's 13 on the top right. 14, and follow the dotted line all the way over here. Uh, turn this light off. It might make it a little bit better. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. I'm really sorry for my shaking hand, but there's nothing I can do. Hey, don't do drugs, I promise. Uh, some more of these, and then it goes over onto the back. There's some really nice artwork on here as well. Most of it's taken from the DVD covers, but the stuff that isn't like this, this one's just hilarious, but um, really nicely done here. And again, they didn't need to include this, but I'm just glad that they did. 25 through 28, 29 to 32, 32, wait, 33, sorry, 33 is over there, <laughs> 34 to 37, and then 38 and 39 in the front cover again and um that's pretty much it for the central park media releases again because the nozomi entertainment releases are now out um, and they're really nice. There's really no reason to own these unless you're like an Utena, unless you're an Utena enthusiast like me, um, or if you just want to complete your collection. But for what they are, the packaging and stuff is nice for the most part. I'm looking at you, Rose Collection. Um, there's some nice extras in here. Some of the extras in this are taken over to there, but um, yeah, they're they're not bad sets. It's just the video quality is really bad on these. I'm I'm not even stressing it. It's really really terrible except for the Utina movie that one actually the Utina movie from this set looks better than the one from this set and I'll get into that why 
get into why that is in a bit later. Um, so, but let's get to the Nozomi Entertainment sets, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. So here is uh, Nozomi set one for Utena, the Student Council Saga. Now this one has artwork that was featured on the Japanese Blu-ray release. I'm pretty sure it was the Blu-ray release, yeah. Um, this is like silhouette style artwork. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to turn the light back on so we can probably see, see the, the, do the colors justice. Um, this one's got Utena and Anthe in the Upside Down Castle from the Dueling Ground. Uh, Utena, the Student Council Saga. And on the back... We have Mickey and Kozue, um, and Kozue is wearing the Rose Bride dress, Student Council Saga again. There's the top. <laughs> Let's zoom in, or focus, or whatever. I hate having to do this by myself, but I'll live. It's basically just Utena, the Student Council Saga. It's kind of a faint text, so you can't really read it. Um, but this one has, come on. So this one's got 2.0 in English and Japanese audio, but it also has a brand new 5.1 mix just for the Japanese. I guess they didn't see a need to put the English in 5.1, and I don't see one either, because it's just disappointing dub. Um, there's the spine, basically the same. It's got the right stuff in the Nozomi logo, and um, here's the spine for everything. This is a thin pack release, so unlike it's not using the fat DVDs like before. Um, so this takes up less space, but there's also less sturdy, I guess it would be the right word. Um, here's disc one. As you can see, it reuses artwork that's been around forever, which is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with this artwork. Um, I just hope that when they put out the Blu-ray release, and I do plan on getting that, that they use some more of this, like, silhouette style artwork, because that's just gorgeous. Um, but here's the Student Council Saga, uh, number one. These are not named, I don't think, like the, uh... Central Park Media release did. Um, and I'm not even sure if I want to even open these up anymore because there's no alternate cover art, which the uh, CPM releases definitely has a one-up on these for that. Um, but the discs all look like that. They all have the um, just a simple rose crest and just says Utena on it. So I probably just opened one disc for each thing, but you know it's got the it's it's classy. It's um it's clean white colors. The names for the episodes on the back and the extras that they include and that's all you really need so this keeps it simple keeps it classy um so we can get through this faster <laughs> here's disc two with uh jury and shiori on the front the inside looks the exact same this has got episodes five through eight it's got some nice extras that the uh cpm releases don't have it's got some zombie trailers and my hand is shaking up it's also got some extras for the japanese cd box which is a really cool thing. It's basically all, all the uh, the individual releases on it for the CDs for Utena, but it's super expensive. I would buy it if I had the money, but I don't. Um, here's Nanami and Toga on the front. So it's 9 through 12. The Rondo Revolution TV spot and the music video. And i got to say, the, the um, opening theme for Utena, Rondo Revolution, is really good. Um, and then one... Th the big one up it has over the CPM releases is this really nice booklet. Um, so this is the one we get for the Student Council Saga. Just flip through this quickly. Um, so it's got nice artwork in it, interviews with the staff who worked on it, um, artwork inside. I'm just going to quickly flip through this. If you really want to get a look at it, you have to buy it yourself. Um, it's got some of the production notes, um, not production notes, but the sketches. Um, production sketches, I guess. These were shown in the um, Japanese Laserdisc um, version of Utena, and they put them in here, and it, the quality is very good. Um, so this basically shows you where they want the color to go, I guess, and what it's going to look like. And these are shots from the ending theme, um, and I think the first ending theme was really the best one. I mean, season halfway through season two, I think, they switched to a new ending theme. Uh, it's still good for Utena, it's just not as good. Um, and I think I'm going to skip some of the artwork. I'll go back a page. Is that it? Yeah. So here's the rose, and then we get right into the bigger artwork from the Laserdisc, the key art gallery, that's what it's called. So it's got Utena, Anthe, and uh, Dios in the background. He's a prince-type character. Utena. And I guess these are kind of like the where they want the color to go, but these have a really nice look to them on their own as well. And I don't want to open it too far, otherwise I'll damage the spine because it's soft cover. 
uh, Anthe is kind of getting risque there. Maybe a little too risque for YouTube. I hope not. And Uten, that's even worse. What are you doing? Anyway, next. They're not actually showing anything, so I guess it's alright. I just really like the stylized look these have to them, even if they're not fully colored in, and the colors in the wrong spot. It just, it just looks great. Um, but a quick look at these. Uh, I already forgot his name, <laughs> but there's Jerry again. Uh, Mikage and um, his boyfriend, I guess. This one's nice. This one's a lot more color. Um, I can't tell who that is. That looks like Sionji and um, Wakaba. And then more text to go through. So let's get into Season 2. Here's the Right Stuff release of Season 2. So this one has um, Nanami and her three bitches. <laughs> and um, Well, they're not actually her bitches. They're basically her minions, and I hate them. And you'll probably hate them too when you watch it. But um, they do provide some good comic relief in some areas, and in some other areas they're really annoying. And I cannot remember his name, but he's basically her slave. <laughs> um, it's really funny. So this is the Black Rose Saga, Season 2 of Utena. And this on the back, it's got uh, Shiori, Juri, and that other guy whose name I cannot remember again. But let's slide the discs out, and we'll get into them. Again, I probably op just open up this one. Um, so it's all artwork you've seen before. Again, this one's got... Um, Kozue and Mickey, I can at least remember that. And um, no alternate cover art, just the disc with the Rose Crest and the Black Rose Saga. Um, actually, it, the first time they were putting these out in the very early releases of these, um, actually everything was written to say the Student Council Saga, including the DVD menus. And um, the booklets even had... Like, where this says the Black Rose Saga, I had a sticker over it that was printed the Black Rose Saga. If you peeled it off, it would say the Student Council Saga on the bottom, which is kind of interesting. But they they um, they put out a replacement to replace everything. So this is artwork that they didn't feature on the, um, the old DVDs. This is actually the artwork you'll see if you go to watch the show on Hulu, which they only have the dub. So it's got Wakaba and Nanami Slaves over here. Um, I'm not sure if this would be a good representation of the show for Hulu, but this is the artwork they decide to use, so there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, yep, yeah, this one's got episodes um, 13 to 16. So actually, 13 is kind of like a... Um, it's kind of like a uh, a recap type episode. So where, whereas they included episode 13 in the Rose Collection, they didn't include it in season 1 of... I'm oh, sorry, Nozomi, rather, didn't include it in Season 1 of Utena. They put it in Season 2, which is fine, so that we can remember what's going on. Um, so here's Disc 3. It's got Mikage and his boyfriend <laughs> on the front disc here. And then Booklet 2, which is a lot thicker than the other one. Um, hence why the box is thicker than the other one. So we'll just quickly through, through this. And if you want to see the full booklet, you got to buy the set because I just don't have the patience to flip through this. Uh, the making of the studio that made Utena. So the making of the makers. That's kind of nice. Here's a picture of the director for Utena. Uh, Kunihiko Ikuhara. He's kind of cool. Kind of cool. He made this, so he's really cool. <laughs> um, and here's some more of the character art gallery. Is it just the gallery all the way to the end? Because that would be kind of nice. I mean, I like reading about the show, but, you know, who doesn't like looking at the artwork? It's kind of nice, too. Just kind of quickly through this. Skip the page there. That one's nice with Toga. I like the color contrast. Um, you know, it's kind of hard. I don't want to ruin the spine, but, you know, damn it. Jeez, this is a mess, as my videos usually are. So don't expect any, um, you know, professionalism from me, because it's just not the kind of person I am. There's Nanami again with some nice color contrast on that one. She's a real bitch though. Here's some more nice color contrast. Oh, Shiori, no, not on YouTube. Um, let's look at the rest of them. Wakaba and the other person. Who actually doesn't come in until I think season 3, so they really are showing him a lot in season 2. I, you know what, I don't remember. He might come in in season 2. Uh, Kozue again. 
to escape for YouTube. Damn it. I can't escape it. Ugh. Okay, I think it's <laughs> I think the worst is over. Uh, Utenus art style. Key art gallery, so there's more art, which is nice. Utena. Um Anthe. Actually, in one of the pages, they show what the characters were originally going to be colored like. And um, Anthe is like Indian in the show. I guess they were going to make her just normal. Not not normal. I shouldn't say. They were going to make her Asian like the rest of the cast. And I think she really does look best with her purple hair and her darker colored skin. That She just looks so good the way that she is now. So I'm glad they, fi they changed that. Um, and then there's uh, Akio. On the back here, it's kind of hard to see, but... There he is. Laserdisc notes that they took also from the Laserdisc series. Um, and this is what they looked like. So in the um, in the manga, I guess Utena was blonde. And then when she put on the... When she went into the duel, her hair would become pink. Which is kind of more magical girl type stuff. Which is um, an interesting take on the show. But I'm glad that the... Um, that the um, anime kind of cuts that out. It just kind of... You know, cuts out all the unnecessary stuff. I think this is an early um, shot of what it was supposed to be like. And I guess she only took Utena from this. The other characters look good. No, there's Jury. But they turned Jury into one of her adversaries. And I guess they kind of ditched the other two characters. I mean, they had good designs. They probably could have done something with them. But it's good the way it is. There they are. And I went too far back before. Or too far forward. Can't tell anymore. Um, but that's basically book two. Let's get into season three. I'll try to stop rambling so much. So here's season three. This one, um, you know, I used to think that was Toga, but I actually think it's Akio. The first time I saw this, I thought it was Toga because I didn't know everyone about Akio's existence, but that is Akio, I guess. Um, Anthe with her hair down and Utena on the front cover. Um, this one is like a pinkish type purple, which is nice. And then we've got, that's, that's Toga. His hair is straight. And then we've got uh, Sionji. In front of the car and that's actually one of the coolest sequences in the show um but that one's like orange and this one is super heavy because it's got so many disc discs in it including the movie um so let's get into this quickly here's um jury and that guy again damn it, i wish i could remember his name i just don't it's not that important though and the inside i forgot it's basically just kind of blank which is perfectly fine I like that it keep it they keep it classy. It's disc two with Utena and Akiyawana. Again, artwork that you've seen before. Um Sayonji Toga and Utena on disc three. Uh Utena and Anthi on disc four. Actually I I kinda lied before. You actually do see the armor in the anime, but it's only in the opening. When they ride horses through the sky. Um, this is the movie. This is, so this is movie auntie. So she always has her hair down, unlike regular auntie who puts it up. Um, should I open this up? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's the same though. Yep, just blank. But that's the movie. And, um, here's the extras disc. This has the extras for season three and the movie that they put on their own disc. So this one has, it's, um, I'm not, why am I trying to open it? It's basically just that on the disc. Um, but that's kind of nice. And booklet 3, which we'll just quickly flip through because I know this video is already really long. Um, so you can even skip to this. Actually, I'll probably be putting, um, you know, time cards the way you can skip to. You know, if you just want to see the Central Park Media release or just the Nozomi or even just the CDs, which we're going to be getting to in just a second. Um, that I haven't seen anywhere on YouTube before. So that should be kind of cool. Um, so here's production night for Otori Academy. I'm pretty sure this is for the TV version, not the, um, yeah, this is for the TV version, TV version, rather, not the movie. The movie has stylized everything. Yeah, here they are. So this is what they were originally going to be colored like. I mean, Utena with green hair. And she did have the pink uniform in the, t in the manga. Um, but they were going to keep the uniform pink. I guess they were going to either make her blonde or green haired. Um, there's Jury. I guess she was going to have green hair. Mickey was going to have black hair. And um, that other character who decides to turn into Toga and they gave him long hair. 
And yeah, like I said, Auntie was just gonna be uh, Japanese with some blue hair, and I think she looks much better as Indian with dark purple hair. Um, I guess this is Sionji before they redesigned him and he wore glasses. Um, again, this character never came around. Uh, there's Mickey up there. They were a bit of big red X over him. Wow. <laughs> um, and Jerry with green hair. I'm glad she has orange hair. I think it just looks better on her. And I um, can't remember this guy's name. But that's basically Mikage's boyfriend character. So here's some more key art. Always nice. Basically the same artwork as uh, that we've already seen. is just in um, kind of like black and white. But just barely colored in. That one looks good. That one looks good. They all look good. And here's the cover art gallery. This is really nice stuff. Super high production quality. Little high quality versions of the cover arts. Um, there's actually more than just the six that you see on the three box sets. I'm not sure if those are in here or not because in the Blu-ray release, they had a, a lot of discs. No, they just have the six. I wish they included the other pictures because there's some more and they're all really, really nice. But these are just laser disc notes. Is there any more art in here? Yeah. Uh, so these are um, some more artwork from Mortori Academy. I'm sorry, I'm just skipping over it. But if you really want to see it, you do have to buy the book yourself because it's hard to keep open. And I just have no patience for it. Etc. Uh, so these are just basically random ideas and background shots. This is from the movie. You see how the style is everything? That's the school. Before it just had a really um, classical look to it. Now it's got red lines everywhere and like moving chalkboards and craziness. But the movie is there's a bunch a bunch of chalkboards on one wall and they all kind of move around. But the movie is just beautiful. Um, in the Nozomi Entertainment release of the movie, um, they kind of there's too much aliasing in it basically. So every black line kind of has stair stepping done to it. Um, it's, so it's kind of like a on the black line if that will help you any but this um so this is what Utina looks like in the movie when she's not in a duel Jesus Christ when she's not in a duel she has really short hair when she does get into a duel and um, she uses Auntie's power to fight her hair becomes long and then kind of put the magical girl transformation back into the movie which is a cool idea um also, there's another type of transformation in the movie, which is Stranger, but I won't give that away to people who haven't watched it before. This is um, artwork by the original manga creator, um, Chiho Saito. Super nice. Her style is great, and I think they they did just the right amount of tweaking to it to put the um, for the uh, for the anime. You know, to make it their own, but it still kind of has her influence. This is a really tight spine on this book. Um, I'm not sure who he is. Shinya Mas... Hasuga. Shinya Ham Hasuga. What did he do? Jesus. He did character design. You did good. You did good. <laughs> um, this is text. Oh, here's some more artwork. Damn it, you two. I can't be putting this on YouTube if you're going to keep... Okay, stained glass type pictures. These are nice. And I'm just going to call it quits there. So this video, this thing's gone on for really long. Um, oh, oh, here's some more. Really nice stuff. So this, movie, this video's gone on for a long time. So we're going to look at the rest of this art. We're going to look at the CDs. And then uh, that's going to be it. And I'll probably see you guys again for Utena when I get the Blu-ray release, which I'm super excited for. Um, yep, let's get on to those CDs. So here, this is the first CD. Um, it's got some French writing on it. La Fière Revolutionnaire Utena. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, so this one's got Utena and Anthe on the front, drawn by Chiho Saito, the manga creator. Um, this one is uh, Angel Creation, Namely Light, is the title of the uh, this soundtrack album. And this one basically just has remixes of the dual themes. So... On the back, we have this creepy mask. It's got 12 different songs. Um, song 11 is based, I'm sorry, song 12 is basically the karaoke version of song 11. Um, if you don't like the dual theme music, it's kind of, um, 
unique. So if you don't like the dual theme music, there's no real reason to get this unless you're a true collector or an Uten enthusiast like me. Um, but this does have some cool pictures and stuff inside the book. Um, the disc is completely black with the rose crest on it as well. Um, really nicely done. I don't think there's anything super special behind it though. Nope, just the rose crest. So we'll put that back in there and let's take a look at this booklet. Can get it out. Here it comes. So here's the booklet. It's a nice thick booklet. Um, it's just got some information on it. You can buy this CD. I think it's like five dollars on Right Stuff. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Um, if you like Utina, if you like the series, if you like the music, go get it. It's really really cheap. Um, so this, I'm not sure what this has to do with Utina, but this is from some art show. Maybe the people who worked on Utena were here, and um, they decided to take a bunch of pictures and put it in here. Um, it doesn't have a lot to do with Utena, but it's a nice thing to have, nice pictures and things like that. Here's some, here's some familiar ground Utena. There's some screenshots from the show. It's got the lyrics for the show, I think, in the Romaji, or they might have a translation for it. Let's zoom in, please. Japanese. Oh, the Andy English translation, how nice. Um, so we've got Last Evolution, Inside the Body of the Palazoic Era. Really strange titles, but they just work for the dual themes. Missing Link is nice. Um, that plays at near the end, and it's um, it's really important in setting the mood. The Earth as a Character Gallery. What a weird title. All of them are weird titles. So then we've got some uh, artwork here. Everything's kind of like cut out, almost kind of like a stained glass um, collection of art. Very nicely done. Oh. Next page. More screenshots. All the artwork is very laid out for all of the DVD releases. No one talks about it. W's Prophecy. And the Utopian Past Tense Incantation and Superior Mirabilis Theater. God. I used to be able to pronounce Japanese pretty well, and then Neko Sugar Girls came along, and all I can say is Raku Chan and ugh, Revolution of Absolute Destiny with Universal Gravitation. We've got Utina, and we have her standing there. So this is a very nicely put together booklet. Some more pictures from the art show that they were at, I guess. Um, this one's kind of weird. All the other ones are a little more straightforward than this. I'm just not sure what the art show has to do with Utena. Performance list, I guess, from the show. All the songs that they played. You know, if they actually made an album with all that music, that would be kind of cool to have if they had some Utena stuff to do with it. Uh... J.A. Caesar, he did all the dual music. That's the composer for the dual music, and he did a good job. Um, but let's move on to the next disc then. This is the other American release CD that I own. This is the movie soundtrack. Um, it's called Adolescence Rush, and it basically has all the mu music from the uh, from the Utena movie, of course. Um, so on the front here, we have Utena in the kind of fetal position, and in the back, we features Anthe in the same position. Uh, this one has 14 different tracks from the movie. So open this up here. Get it open. Here we go. So the disc is actually white. has a light pink um, rose crest on it. And underneath we have another shade of pink rose crest. So basically it's going to be de designed on all of the Utina CDs, which is fine with me. Um, let's take a quick look at the booklet as well. Get that under there. So of course, we've got Utena in the front, and um, <clears throat> on the back we have the um, Utena logo that they use for the CDs. I think this is on all all of the backs of the CDs. Just nice, um, nice font laid out. Way it spells Utena, um, and in French. So here is the track listing. It's probably easier to see on this. Um, I really, I really do like the music for the movie. Um, it's very good. Uh, here's a little advertisement from Kenny on way back when. 
it's too late now to get the bonus CD, but whatever. So we have some uh, text here from the Kunihiko. I'm pretty sure he was the um, the director of the show. <clears throat> it's actually been about two days since I filmed the last CD. This movie's this video rather is a, an absolute mess. Um, and Shiho Saito, of course, is the manga creator. So she gets a little bit of say in the book here. Um, we got some nice artwork laid out on this page from the movie. You can see the design is quite different all around, except for Toga. He looks pretty much the same. Um, text for the um, one of the dual songs, I think, Resurrection, Neverending History of the Middle Ages. Lots of text on that page, and I won't be zooming in. Because you can still get this uh, D CD rather for like five bucks on Right Stuff. So if you like Utena, then I would suggest go picking that up before it sells out. Because this has been out of print for like over ten years now. Some more nice artwork. Oh, and some more artwork here. You can see Jury and some of the other characters wear completely different outfits than they did in the show. Which is nice. Um, text for the Sheriff Flesh Constellations Galaxy. What the heck are those symbols? I don't know. Next page. More text. More pictures. And nicely laid out. This kind of um, cut out and pieced together style. Actually, this is a lot like a scrapbook too, but this is just done so much more nicely. And um, one of the characters getting too risque for YouTube again. Damn it. Round Dance Revolution. So that's this is kind of like a different mix on the regular opening theme that they did for the movie. Which is very good. Um, Shinkichi Mitsus. I can't pronounce it today. I'm just out of it. Uh, Shinkichi Mitsumune. So he has his text here, you can read that. And uh, J.A. Caesar, the director of the Dual Songs, also has something to say in this book. Well, so then this is the movie staff, movie cast, you can find all that on Wikipedia. Um, so this is these are the only two um, English releases of the CDs that I own. Um, so right now what we're going to be getting into is the international releases, so um, yeah. So this is the first international CD. This is Soundtrack 1, The Eve of the Absolute Evolution Revolution. Um, the front of the CD has an iconic frame of Utena and Anthi from the show, well from the show's opening. we got some nice roses on here. And on the back we have Utena and Anthi again with a severe drop shadow, which also looks quite nice. Um, all everything's in Japanese, but this does have, let's see, 36 different tracks on it. It's got the full-size version of Rinbu Revolution and the full-size version of Truth, the ending song and the opening song, not respectively, so f flipped, Jesus. Let's get this one opened up and see what's in here. So this one has a dark pink, um, disc with a lighter gross crescent underneath. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. Now, an important thing to know is that there are bootlegs of these CDs, and bootlegs generally have very low quality and they're crappy. Um, what you want to look for if you're buying these is you're looking for the Star Child logo. There's, that's what some of the people who made this CD. Um, King Record and Star Child. If you find a CD and it has like Ever Anime on it, Ever Anime is a bootlegging company. I would say re request a refund immediately. Um, if you can't get a refund, I would just say throw it out because it's absolute rubbish. And also, um, some of the bootlegs I've seen, the discs themselves don't have the rose crest on them. They have just a picture from the show, so that's also a good indication. Um, so here is the booklet again. It's a nice quality cut photo, no pixelation. Um, the back of it, again, not, um, the Utina written out that way. Um, so this one I did buy brand new. So it came with the uh, OB card. And this, some, <clears throat> this isn't like another... Um, pretty much every CD from Japan has an OB card. This is just like the spine label. So it comes wrapped around the CD case like this when you first get it. Um, it's not really... It wasn't really important to me that I had to have this. Some people absolutely have to have the OB cards. And the other uh, ones I do not have the OB cards for. But 
Uh, again, another thing you're looking forward to avoid the bootleggers is that the King Records, Star Child, and all of them have a um, an item number on them that says like K I C A and then a number there. Um, but that's the spine card. So it's a little something nice to have that I keep tucked away in the booklet. So we'll get this open. I cannot read Japanese. And I imagine if you're watching this, you, maybe you will, maybe you can. I have no idea, but I'm not going to be going too much into detail in these because I can't read it. So basically be stopping to look at the layout of the page and the artwork, um, you know, the artwork uh, compilations, which is also nicely done in this booklet. A text, there are some English words in here like revolution. So this is the... Um, the Japanese lyrics for the opening song. When, where, who, which, that's one of the dual songs. Very short. Um, most of them seem to be short, which is fine. So here's like a slow, in-depth look at the, um, the scene where Utena gets ready to fight. Here's this page here. And this page here. So this is the lyrics for truth. Some of them in English, like missing truth and four of her, kissing love into your heart. Um, here's some of the ending footage from the show. Well, from the ending scene. Jeez. <laughs> very nicely animated, very simple. And then a uh, layout of the cast. So you've got uh, the Prince Dios, Akio... I think that's Sayonji, Nanami, Toga, Jerry, Mickey, Wakaba, Utana, and Auntie all in this page. And I'm surprised I remembered all their names. But um that's pretty much C D one. So this has all the this has all the music from uh season one of the show, dual themes, choruses, background music, all that good stuff. Um and also has the full opening and ending song. So if you like season one's music, I would say pick this C D up. Um, this cost me about $30. I bought it off of Amazon, brand new, from Import CDs, I think. And um, I'm quite, I quite like this release. Um, let's move on to the next one. And this is soundtrack number two, Virtual Star Embryology. Um, this has pretty much all the music from season two, including the TV size of Rinbu Revolution and Truth. Um, and also has the ending song for season two, Virtual Star Embryology, which is quite good as well. Um, this was supposed to have a white plastic um, case over it, but I bought this off Amazon and it did not include that, but I can live without it because the CD is quite good. Um, so here's the Japanese track listing. So you can see it's got Truth and Revolution TV size. Um, so the bootleg for this that I've seen, um, the disc will actually have this picture on it. So you're looking for, again for the Star Child logo and um, the Kisa item number on the spine. So I'll get this open. As I said before, I do not have the OB card for this, but that's fine with me. Um, but it does come with one, as pretty much every Japanese CD does, CD does, I think, if you're looking to buy it. So this one has a silver disc with a, I'm sorry, a black disc with a silver rose crest. And then a gray rose crest underneath. And let's get into the booklet. Which again, I cannot read, but still it's fine. So this one has a gray Utena writing on the back. And the front, which has Utena and Anthe in silhouette form with pink lipstick, which is um, a nice color contrast. So this is the track listing against the rose crests. Quite nice. Um, the music for season two, I think it's a bit darker, more heavy handed than the other um, from the first season, which suits it quite well, since some dark stuff does happen in this. So uh, singer is Maki Kami. I'm not sure which one she sang. Um, but you know, she did some voice work for the show. So here's another artwork layout. Some more, there's a lot more space in between the pictures this time, but that's fine with me. Makes for a good uh, composition. Japanese text. Here's some artwork on the bottom of the pages. It's got Anthe, Kozue, Nanami and her bitches, Nanami slave, Utena, Wakaba, a bunch of other characters. Some more Japanese text that we don't really need to scan over. I think this cost me about $10 on Amazon, so it doesn't go for too much. Just make sure that if your disc has ever anime, you request some refund. Um, so this one has uh, some grid laid out pictures with some French text on it. 
quite nice. Skip over that page because I can't read it anyway. And we'll get into uh, this artwork composition. I, re I really do like having the CDs for the show. I usually don't bother tracking down the CDs for an anime, but the Utena music is just so good that I had to have it. Um, and I also have the game called Vib Ribbon on the PlayStation Network. So you can actually put these CDs in and play Vib Ribbon to the Utena music, and it's quite fun. And that's pretty much it for uh, Soundtrack 2. We'll get into Soundtrack 3. So this is Soundtrack 3, Municipal... I'm sorry, Internal Clock, Municipal Orrery. Jeez. Um, so this one I bought off of eBay, I think, for $10. And it actually does have the... Um, the uh, plastic case on it. So it basically the plastic case is just um, a colored outlined case with the Utena logo in the center that overlays the design and that's why there's no text on the, the front of the case which is quite nice. Um, we'll keep it on here in the back. So in the back we have some, it looks kind of like sketches of the characters. So you have Akio, Anthe, and Utena in the front. The track listing in Japanese. Um, and again, you're looking for that Star Child logo and the Kisa item number on the spine, which is right here. It's a Kisa 387, I think, is for this one. So, and this one has a gold tone to it. It's probably not going to pick up too much on the thing. Um, in the photo, it looked completely black, but it actually does have a gold tone to it on this on the side there as well. So, we'll get this opened up. And this one has a... Um, the disc itself actually isn't gold, it's kind of like a silver, which matches the gold quite nicely. But the back of it also has the golden rose crest. Uh, the booklet has um, gold shiny lettering on the back. This says Utena. And let's get into this booklet here. Um, so we have two gold rose crests with the track listing, which is quite nice. More uh, artwork which is the best part of these booklets since I can't read the text. Um, I believe Virtual Star Embryology and that first CD that I have here, I believe both of these had an English release. Maybe not the second one, but I know this one for sure does. I think it's pretty hard to find though. Um, so if you wanted an English booklet for the first season, you can have it if you look hard enough. But I'm not sure about Virtual Star Embryology. Where was I? Back to the art. Um, so here's the artwork on this page. Yeah, not on this page. We got a steering wheel from, I guess it's from Akio's car. Um, this one, al this also has a gold shine to it, which again isn't going to come up on camera, but it looks very good in person. A golden black rose. And this pretty much has all the music from season three in it. Um, Except for one, the final kind of like chorus song called Missing Link. That's actually is in season four, which is the um, the first CD I showed you. Did I say season four? No, I said uh, CD four. If I said it before, I'm sorry. So this is, this would be season C D four by Japan standards. Um, it's the uh, angel creation, namely light. So you can get this CD. It has the Missing Link song in it. It's five bucks on right stuff. I said that before said it again go get it while you still can there's a mickey stopwatch that she's always stopping for some reason and this one has nice artwork as well kind of bars with french lettering very nicely laid out and all the artwork is super high quality too um this page is completely gold so it's some kind of mark there i don't know what that is um and then the utina text here and then this is kind of like a film strip from the car sequence, which it looks really cool. They show it a lot, but you just get used to it because it looks so good. Okay, and I've got one more CD to show you, and I think, um, in my opinion, it's probably the best one. So this is CD soundtrack number five. Um, the title here in French basically translates to Engage Yourself to Me. The front of it has Anthe in the Rose Bride dress, uh, drawn by Chiho Saito, the manga creator. 
And um, it's very cool to see this one because in the manga version, I think the dress was either supposed to be white or pink. And in the anime, they made it red. So she actually did draw the anime version of Auntie's dress here. And um, her version of uh, Choo Choo has an earring. And he also has a big puffy tail, which is cute. Um, and on the back, we've got Utena in some f uh, in a coffin full of roses. Well, right, the uh, white roses. Um, so this one actually has two CDs in it. The bootleg version will only have one. Of course, it's made by Ever Anime or whoever else bootlegs this stuff. Um, it actually has a, a pearlized lilac color on the back and on the front, where we have um, Anthe again. So this has two CDs. Um, the first CD has unused background music or unreleased background music up to this point. And then the second CD has music from the Utena musical. Um, there was one. I'm not sure of how good it was because I haven't seen it. Even if I did see it, I wouldn't understand it. Um, but in this, my opinion, the music on this CD, the, um, the musical CD, it's not as good. Because they're just some weird sounded songs that have to be made for the musical and they have to have that musical feel to them. Um, but this music here is quite good. There's a theme song for Choo Choo. There's the song when um, something happens to Nanami in one of the episodes, which is absolutely hilarious. Um, but let's get into the booklet. So this has um, the Utena writing on both sides. Either has side, disc two or disc one. So this is the um, this is the booklet for the um, TV music side. Nice Japanese writing. Some nice text. Not text, but pictures. Again, in this kind of cobbled together feel, which is done quite nicely instead of the scrapbooky looking. DVDs that Central Park Media put out for season one. Um, very small text because I had to squeeze it all into a half booklet size. And then the purple pages and white pages that get mixed together are quite nice. And this also is like the film strip type stuff because we see the animation done slow motion here. And uh, the is getting naked, which is probably not good for YouTube. And is this upside down? I don't think it is yet. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. So then we go over to disc two, which has the lilac side and the white side. And I always keep the lilac side showing because it's very nice. Um, unreadable text. More unreadable text. Here's some stuff we can look at. So Utena in her torn up uniform. And she actually does wear the female's uniform for once in the show. And she actually looks quite good in it, although I do think that the male uniform suits her better. And she's wearing the um, the dress she wore to the ball. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Um, I know it was really long, but I am going to put those time cards in there, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I do enjoy collecting all the Utena stuff, and hopefully I'll be getting more CDs in the future, but who knows? Um, so I'll see you guys next time with another different type of video. See you later.